God bless our love. Even in the morning when I rise, I say, God, blessed our love. Hello, my name is Renee, and 50 years ago, we hung out, we were together, and here I am today celebrating your 50 year. May God continue to bless you, stay strong, and I love you. I can just see heaven all in your eyes. It makes me know this is not a Everyday love, no, no. We've got something I'm sure we can be proud of. Oh, and we've got so much, so much love. We've got so much, so much trust. Can't you see a halo? A halo. Hovering over us. Oh, I didn't mean it, baby, but God rest our love. I have to say it this evening that God, oh God, blessed our love. If you got something to be thankful for, you ought to just say, Here ain't God. Stand up and tell the world that you're mine, all mine, all mine. Your love is heavenly design. And I just have to say, example for not just me and but our all 11 cousins. All right. 50 years? It's <laughs> a long time. <laughs> I'm going to y'all stuck it out. <laughs> and I love you guys. I'm not really much for public speaking, but um, I just wanted to say thank you, Nana and Pop Pop. <laughs> thank you, Nana and Pop Pop, for being um, a great example to Everybody here, um, I'm glad we could celebrate y'all and um, so many more years. The uh, oldest statesman out of all the grandkids. Um, personally, I just want to say for a quick little second on, on a serious note. Uh, these two, you know, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, officially, you know, biological, but these two took me in as one of their grandkids since I was a little kid. Since I was a little kid, uh, they. Love me like one of their own. I remember Pops would come get me, take me to school, speed around the corner that Thunderbird. <laughs> Going that horn. <laughs> and I 
know what I mean? But my, I mean, took me to Florida, my, uh, Disney World, where he was there. Uh, took us, you know what I mean, just, you know, just the love. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to see they still alive, uh, still kicking it <laughs> <laughs> in the marriage and everything. So I just want to say, love y'all and uh, God bless. for my sister-in-law. I love them so much that, and they have truly been an example. I always remember when Herbie and Rosie were going together and our fa father used to go to the house to wake Herbie up, knock on the door in the window, getting Herbie up to go to work. And he would say, that N-word. <laughs> They go to sleep and they die. They don't know when to get up for work. Give an honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, now I said nine boys and three girls. And but what I what I wanted to say most of all is that I thank God that He stepped in in the later years and called her to the ministry. Mm -hmm. All right. Ain't nothing can beat that. All right. God coming to right. your life. Yeah. Right. Trust yes. me, you got the best thing. Yeah. So I want to say congratulations. Uh, Herbie, my brother-in-law, never had a problem with him, you know. I don't get into business no way. Don't <laughs> fight. I ain't got nothing to do with it. My wonderful brother-in-law, yes. Deacon Herbie, he just came in and we didn't think anybody would be able to tame him. That's a little bit. Of course, you can see me. Deacon Herbie came in. And he, he rounded her off and brought her right on in and made such a beautiful couple, such a beautiful family. And we love you guys and we appreciate you all so very, very much. Yes. And maybe God bless you and continue to keep you now and always. celebrating with uh, our family this <laughs> joyous occasion for my parents and to my parents that I can say about my parents it's going to take a lifetime but I just want to say thank y'all for being my parents thank y'all for being there for me through my ups and downs Thank y'all for just seeing me through everything that I've been through because I've been through a lot and I wouldn't trade y'all for the world. And when I came up, when my sisters and I wanted to get this together, it was like, um, it was like so much joy because I couldn't find any better people to have this for than you and daddy mom. And I love y'all so much. So much, like Shabette said, it's so much that I can say. I thank you, um, Dad, for being a strong man. I thank you, Mom, for being a strong woman, for um, just leading and guiding us. Um, and I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now because it's, it's so many, it's so many good memories that I can go back and think of over the years. To how you know, we always um, call 308. You know, the good memories we had, our old house, 308 East Ridge Road, growing up. Um, and I'm just, I'm just overjoyed. Um, I can all, again, say so many things that my sisters have said. I've been through a lot. And I want you to know, I thank God for a praying mother. Yes. All right. Let me say that again. I thank God for a praying mother. There were times in my life and things that I went through that I didn't know what I was going to do, 
but she prayed. <laughs> and I'm here today because of her prayers. And I just thank God for everything that they are. My dad, I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> is nothing too good for none of us, me or my sisters. Nothing that he wouldn't do for us. And my mom, the same thing. Um, the grands, they're spoiled. We're, we're all spoiled, believe it or not. As Robin said, I'll be 54 next month. And if I pick up the phone right now and say, well, <laughs> You know, I saw my mom was like, okay, we'll we'll see what we can do. I'm like, thank you, mom. <laughs> It's in my heart, Sing it, Papa. I am his, and he's mine. Oh, right. It's in my heart, I can't help but sing and shout. It's in my heart, it's in my heart. We truly give an honor to God. We want to thank and praise God for fixing my heart. Yes. He the one that did it. I couldn't have done it by myself. Amen. My mind goes back to 1988 when I first met this young lady right here. I thank and praise God when I met her. It was this place down on 9th Street called Honeysuckle Farm. <laughs> Ice cream place. I had a 64 Chevy, black. I took my bench seat out and put some bucket seats in there, but they was raggedy. And took her down there, she talked about me like a dog. And when I, when I, really, I got kind of mad. I mean, if, they, if, they, if, they, if that guy could handle this here right here, I knew that this was the right one for me. And I thank and praise God. I'm not sorry that I married her. I, I, I love her to death. And I thank God for her. Because through her, been making that change, it brought about a change in me. Right. You know, and I thank God for that, Dad. And that's what we need. We need someone that's going to live for the Lord Amen. and bring out God to, to let you see that there's a God somewhere yeah. that know that's working. Yeah. It can happen. Y'all can continue to. And I thank you all for, for, for coming out. You know, I'm, I'm excited. I really am. I'm, I'm excited. And I'm not a big talker. A man that provided for his family. 45 years almost he put in on his job, amen, before he retired. He's always been a provider no matter what he did out there in the streets before I saved life. He brought the money home and took care of his family. And today you don't find men like that, amen. And I'm grateful that I'm grateful to, amen, to his father, amen, that taught him how to do such, amen. He came from good stock. Yeah. Amen. He's